YouTube. My name is Hannah. Um, I wanted to talk about some dreams that I have had. I have had multiple, multiple rapture dreams throughout my life, but the latest two have been the ones that I felt like I needed to share with somebody. Um, I normally don't talk about my dream, my rapture dreams like that, because I'm not really a whole religious person like I grew up in the church I know who God is I know who Jesus is like I know all of that but I just to be real now I'm not living right that's just that but I wanted to talk about the dreams that I believe God gave to me to share to everyone and I feel like those dreams were meant for me as well because in those dreams I got left behind all right so the first dream that I had I I drive trucks. I'm a dump truck driver. So therefore, it was just a regular day. I went into work. When I went into work, everybody's keys were still hanging up. Like we put our keys up on the wall where everybody can just grab them and go get in the truck or whatever. And my coworkers were talking to my dispatcher and they were all confused, yelling, crying, screaming my dispatcher was like crying he was like i don't know something happened and we can't we we sold the company or we just can't let y'all drive like something happened i don't know but everybody was just so upset to where they had fired everybody so they fired everybody so i was upset i was very upset i called my boyfriend at the time i called him and I said, look, you know, I just got fired. Like, they laid everybody off. I don't know what happened. So, he wanted to take me out to make me feel better. Get some food. Because I'm hungry and I like to eat. Um, crazy thing is, he took me to McDonald's. I don't really care for McDonald's like that. But for some reason, I was just like, whatever. I was talking in the car, driving. He was driving. I was in the passenger seat. So, he went into McDonald's for some reason. And I was on the phone. Like, I got my phone out. I called my mom. I was like, Mom, they laid everybody off. Like, I still had the phone up to my ear. Just sitting in the car chilling. It was like, it was midday. But somehow, the the color of the sky changed. It went really, it got really, really, really colorful. Really, really vibrant. Really quick. And then I saw a bunch of clouds circling around. Like, they were moving rapidly. And when they were moving rapidly, the sun got 10 times brighter, 10 times bigger. And those clouds were going into the sun as if it was a portal, like as if it was a door into heaven or something. I don't know. So when I was looking at that and I saw the clouds, I saw what seemed to be clouds coming from the earth like clouds that were coming from the earth shooting up into that sun and i was like looking at it and then i realized yo this is the rapture this this is happening so as soon as i was as soon as i opened my mouth to say no i tried to scream out no and in my mind, I remember saying, oh my God, what did I do? Like, I should have listened. I should have followed the rules. I should have, I should have did right. I should have lived better and I didn't. And when I was saying no, it was like my breath had gotten taken out of my body. And I could feel my soul, for so, I don't even know how to explain it. I could feel my soul being pulled from my body like snatched from it and I could feel my last breath and then I went into the ground when I went to the ground I realized that's when everything went dark and I realized this is it I really sat there and I was like this is where I'm going to be because I did not do right and then I woke up and when I had that dream I literally could not go to sleep. I was crying. Like, I called my boyfriend. Like, I was upset because it felt so... When I tell you that dream was so real, it was so real. So, that was the first dream that I had. 
this was maybe maybe like a month or two ago now the second dream that I had about the rapture um this was maybe probably like two weeks ago um second dream I had me and my boyfriend walking around outside and of course there's other people walking around I don't know where we was going or what we was doing the same thing happened the clouds started whirling around the, the sky changed color um the sun got brighter and then I said in my dream again I looked at my boyfriend I was like it's happening again I, I know what this is this is the rapture it's happening again and he just looked so confused and everybody was looking around at the sky and I was just like oh my god please forgive me please forgive me please forgive me I'm so sorry please I kept saying that but I it was too late it was too late um my boyfriend I, that same clouds that I was seeing in the first dream of like the clouds shooting up in the sky well I witnessed it firsthand in the second dream of, of actually what was going on so my boyfriend I saw like this cloud come from his body but it came through his mouth like it was like a air that came through his mouth that turned into a cloud and it turns out that was his soul that was his soul that left his body so it hovered for like one minute his body dropped and then the cloud shot up into the sky and then when i looked around there were some people that had, that had happened to and then there were some people that were just stuck and left and guess who got left again y'all it was me it was me i wasn't doing right i got left again so me and a whole bunch of other people that got left we were like running around like crying like i just kept looking at my boyfriend's body and like trying to get him like oh my he just he really he left like he gone like he went to heaven and then i kept saying you know i'm so sad i'm gonna miss him but at least i know he went to heaven so we was all crying and walking and crying and walking trying to figure out what we needed to do where we needed to go it was me and a couple other people I don't know these people and I was just crying like boohoo crying and this guy it was a tall dark skinned guy with dreads he was walking by by me while I was crying and he said ain't no need to cry baby girl wipe your tears at least you know they in a better place all you can do now is get yourself together and I was like you right you right so we kept walking and then a bunch of police came out like they wasn't regular police. Like, these were different. They were different. They almost looked like SWAT. Um, they started rounding up the people that were left behind. They started rounding everybody up. And they loaded us on these buses. And when they was loading us up, they started stamping us with numbers. So, they would take our hand and put, like, a stamp. And there would be a number on it. And um, put us in the bus. And then they started driving off. And everybody was just looking around, like real crazy like where the hell we going um and then that's when i woke up from that dream now in between this last dream that i had and the first dream that i had well how do i say it? after that first dream that i had i had talked to god and i that dream weighed so heavy on my heart i was like god you know I'm sitting here believing this and I'm believing that and I'm believing the third and I'm trying to make sense of everything. I just need you to tell me, like, are you real? Are you really real? Like, are you with me? I mean, I know what other people tell me, but are you really, are you here? I was like, you know, I don't want no signs. I just tell me, come to me, talk to me. Let me see you. Let me feel you. Let me witness you. Something. And he gave me that dream the second one i just told y'all about again and this these aren't the first rapture dreams i have had i've had multiple rapture dreams i had a rapture dream about um aliens these this was before the aliens even came out this was before a anybody was even thinking about aliens i had a dream that um aliens came down from the sky and started picking up people and taking them up to the sky but the whole time they were demons like the aliens were
were demons and they were taking everybody they were taking their souls but that's just a whole nother dream but anyway um i just wanted to share my dream with with y'all because that these dreams have been weighing heavy on my heart and i am trying to do right i am trying to be better i am trying to pray more and talk to god more and i'm trying to get on the right track and it's hard you know it's hard but i'm i'm doing it i'm trying so i just want everybody to know like these dreams i feel like when god gives people dreams depending on the dreams because it can be some very demonic dreams sometimes he's really talking to you sometimes he's trying to tell you like look you need to get it together you need to whatever you're doing you got to get it together before it's too late and like i said i'm not a whole very spiritual religious person but i'm trying to just do right i'm trying to be better so yeah that's my dreams y'all have